Hey everybody, this is Kagan with Brightby. I'm here with independent insurance agent John Borja with the Teague Insurance Agency located in La Mesa, California. John, how bad did I just butcher your last name and La Mesa? Did I do better? Oh, you did You did that well. That was good. All right. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Well, John, let's get into this. Tell us a little bit about your professional experience. Why in the world would you become an insurance agent? The biggest attraction was entrepreneurial. You know, at the time, uh, my buddy had started a small agency and I was already in sales and I was already enjoying selling uh, gym memberships is where I started. So it made, it was a natural move to try um, uh, insurance. Yeah. So, you know, your, your company offers property and casualty commercial, but from what I understand, you're really focused on the commercial side, right? Right. My whole career has been in the commercial segment of uh, insurance. It's funny because, you know, commercial seems a lot harder than the, the personal line. So what made you go right into uh, the nitty gritty of, of commercial insurance? You know, the, it, it's a great question because the, the biggest um, reason was I didn't, I wanted something that was challenging, number one, and I wanted to learn and I believe that in the commercial side, you're always learning every day um, from your clients, from the coverages, from the risk itself. Um, but before all that, I just decided, you know, once I, once I got into the insurance industry, that commercial side was probably going to be more appealing to me long term than personal lines or health insurance. Um, and just going through there and learning, it is challenging, very difficult. Um, you know, I'm always learning, but over time, it was the right decision to make. What's your main drive in, in your professional or personal life in general? The main reason why I, I love doing this business is, number one, is you learn things every day. You know, I've said that multiple times. You'll probably hear me say that throughout this interview, is that you're always yeah. learning something. But the second thing is, is you have a lot of flexibility. You know, you're not always in the office. You, you have to go and see the accounts. And that's another opportunity to learn something, see something. Um, it's exciting to walk on a job site. It's exciting to walk on the floor, a manufacturing plant floor. Um, it's, it's exciting to be inside of a big warehouse and see all the little things that are being distributed, the, you know, a trucking risk as well. So different types of risk, um, make it exciting. And then of course, you know, the income, you know, whatever you put into it, you know, over time you can make a really, uh, good living doing this and still have a balance in life. And I think that's a big uh, point is why I continue to enjoy the business is that there's a lot of flexibility and balance uh, once you find it uh, in this line of work. So where would you say you're headed? I mean, in the next five, 10 years, where, where would you see yourself? The short term goal, the a partnership at this agency would be a, a nice accomplishment. But long term wise, I would love to be able to not only help this agency grow, to a strong regional presence here, but also have the opportunity to possibly uh, write national accounts, possibly um, even carve out a, a division within this organization that focuses on specific risk, such as construction, such as manufacturing or nonprofits, where we were strong enough to do those things. So growing the agency is uh, something that I see myself doing, and we're in the right time to do that right now. Tell me this, what makes you so different than, than everyone else? And it's okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of chance to brag on yourself here, but I, w I want people to see your passion. The thing that I enjoy most about this business, and, and there's a lot of things that are happening in this industry. Technology is taking over. Um, automation is threatening not only just you know our industry, but a lot of industries. But what I know to be true and, and is going to be true long term is the relationships you have with people. It's still going to be a people's business. It, people still need to go and talk to somebody about this insurance coverages. And it's never going to change because it's, especially in the commercial side, it's so technical. There's so many parts involved. It would be a challenge for just a system to come up with some type of way to rate up a risk and spit out the premium. There's, still parts and pieces where a, a professional needs to be involved and experience and, and using that um, history that they have 
to help a client be successful with their risk. But the the thing that I enjoy every day is, like I said, I, I love seeing my clients. I love uh, trying to go out there and write business. Uh, I enjoy uh, every day the challenges that it comes uh, as far as what we're trying to do here as, as, as a true professional, but then also trying to demonstrate to the general public that insurance brokers are knowledgeable. They understand the risk. They're there to help you. They're not always there to sell you a product every day. They're there to advise you. And if it's the right thing, the right fit, um, then they're there to help you. And if it's not something that is going to be in the best interest of the client, most uh, established brokers are not going to push something on a client that isn't in their best interest. And I think that there's that, that thing that we fight out there. And I, I definitely enjoy demonstrating that to uh, our clients, especially new ones that are like, okay, you know, this is a professional. This is something that we uh, are, are attracted to. And, and that's hard to do sometimes. It's, it's not easy. As far as what makes me unique is I think that just being a person and being honest with your clients, I know that sounds funny, but being completely uh, honest with your clients and telling them or advising them on what's in their best interest, what is not, yeah, at times disagreeing with them. Um, when it's, you know, most clients don't always want to buy insurance. We understand that. But letting them know that, you know, this is going to help them long term is not only a struggle, but it's also a fun thing to see when they finally see how the insurance helps them in a situation uh, that they get into and the insurance response uh, for them, uh, whatever it be a claim or an allegation or something that can um, hurt their business. They see where the insurance triggers and supports them. And that, and then that's a huge thing. It doesn't happen very often as as we would like because there are clients that will go on a year, year in and year out and never have to file a claim. But when it comes, it comes big. And when you see how the insurance responds to it, it's a sign of relief that you're giving them something that helps them. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Completely agree. Well, where would people be able to find you online or other places if they wanted to get more information from you, get a quote from you, uh, talk more about their commercial risks, where can they find you best? I'm on LinkedIn. You can find me there uh, under uh, John Borja. Uh, you can find me on our website, teagueinsurance.com. I'm also involved with the National City Chamber of Commerce locally here in San Diego. Uh, you can find me there. Uh, you can also call me directly and uh, or email me. But I'm happy to have an open conversation with an account that is interested in, in not only working with myself, but getting a full evaluation as far as how their coverages are and whatnot. You know, that's always kind of the avenues you can pursue if you want to contact me. Now, they can also find you at the Beer Fest, right? I, th I thought you did something with Beer Fest. Am I wrong? Yeah, absolutely. We, we, we organize an annual beer festival in, in National City, and that's like something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, I do that through the chamber, and uh, we organize a beer festival. San Diego is a big craft beer region. We love beer here, and uh, all everyone that's a local here enjoys drinking beer. So we organize an annual beer festival. I welcome you guys to come. We're going to have it in September. Uh, we have it every year. We have about about 40 40 craft beers that come in uh, from the region only from San Diego. So if you're from out of town and you want to come to San Diego and try some craft beer, I definitely welcome you guys to come and check us out. Uh, it's the Bayside Brew Festival uh, in National City. And uh, it does have a website, and uh, you can look that up. But uh, it's a great, great festival that we enjoy doing every year. That's awesome. Well, guys, uh, make sure to check out the Teague Insurance Agency and especially look up John Bora. Uh, also, make sure you check out John's profile on Brightby with this information uh, and his uh, recording here and more information about him. Give him an opportunity to give you a quote, but more so look at your commercial exposure and give true, honest feedback. Thanks, John. We really appreciate it and hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, Keegan. Appreciate it. Thanks, man.